Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com. In this video we have a new build of Windows 10, a new Redstone build of Windows 10 to play with for the PC. This is 14295. There's also a mobile version of this available which I've done as a, a separate video. Not a lot to show on this one to be honest. Um, I do like to document these. There's quite a lot of known issues uh, but nothing new um, in terms of features. But I'll tell you what's been fixed on here. So they fixed the issue that's been a long time uh, on this wave. When you plug an Xbox One or Xbox 360 controller, it would crash the tablet. That's been fixed. Or crash the PC. That's been fixed. Um, they fixed an issue where Edge would refresh the tab if you press the cat locks field in the cat locks button in the password field. Can't say I've ever had that, um, but that's been fixed. And they fixed an issue preventing the Xbox app from signing in, which is good to know. And they've also finished uh, fixed the Kaspersky antivirus issue that uh, we've probably seen on our previous videos talk about that. So that's the, the fixes from that. So um, that's the only real improvements on this build. It's still got the edge extensions and things like that. You can find those on our previous build, uh, previous build videos where you can look at edge extensions, um, which is nice. And it's got the map improvements as well. So, now to the known issues, and I'm getting these from Microsoft Sites. There's an issue with Narrator only be able to read some of the menu options in the Feedback Hub and in Cortana, so uh, they're working on that. Uh, Hyper-V uh, still has problems with virtual switches. If you're using Hyper-V, you should read the release notes that before deciding when to go forward. Um, some uh, PCs with TPM chips, like the Asus ZenBook UX31, so you, you might get glitchy audio and the trackpad due to a task that's running all the time, a TPN task that's running all the time, instead just on boot up. You can disable it if you um, use the task scheduler. So again, if you're getting that issue, go to read the release notes for that. If you use Windows Hello or PIN to sign in um, to the Microsoft Passport service, there's an issue where the Bluetooth will repeatedly scan for devices, and um, which reduce battery life and can cause audio glitches and things like that. So you can either uh, disable Microsoft Passport services or with a command which Microsoft on the site or not use the Windows Hello or PIN. I use the Microsoft account, not necessarily the Passport one, but to Microsoft account and that, that's been working fine. So I haven't experienced any signing issues with this device. Um, Miracast is not working in this just like it's not on the phone as well. And there's some issues with uh, apps such as QQ crashing. That's been around for a while. And in fact, um, the real regular viewers will know that I used to use an Encore 8 to, to look at these new builds, but now I'm using this Link 7. The reason the Encore 8 wouldn't receive the build. So for some reason, I couldn't get this that build showing up at all on my Encore 8. So I'm using this one instead. Um, I've actually done a rollback to the previous build and then seen if it will now pick up the new build. And in fact, I've just finished the rollback and it's now loading the previous build and not this one. So I don't know whether it will download the um, 42951 and then download 4295 or it will still have the problem. And if that's the case, then I'll do a PC reset, get it back to the sort of reset state and then see if we can pick up the update from there. So that's it really, not a huge amount of changes in this build, it's only been a week or so since the last one and coming up um, is Microsoft Developer Event build next week and I think they're going to have a lot more things to show there so we will probably get a new build next week with a lot more interesting features. But you can go back right back to the earliest Windows 10 previews on our YouTube channel and you can find me at ISDixon on Twitter and on the digitallifestyle.com. Thanks for watching this one.